Most yard sale style websites like Craigslist will offer suggestions to users on how to avoid scams. Throughout the year, beekeepers travel with their colonies from state to state, pollinating various agricultural crops. But a few years ago, they started discovering that their bees were disappearing and nobody knew why. In some sections of Aroostook County, they've already received 145 inches of snow. Now the record for this area is 181 inches set back in the 1950s. But forecasters say with an active storm pattern, this could be a record year. The ground underneath the road has frozen, but here along the shoulders, it hasn't. When you mix in the excessive runoff, they say you have a big problem. Registered Maine guides are not required to take these types of swift water rescue courses, but these guides say if if you're going to spend that much time out on the river, it's good to have. A few minutes before game time at the auditorium, the back tunnels are crowded with nervous players. It's really nerve wracking for me because I've never had to play in front of an audience this big. Josh Smith is the only trumpet player in the nine piece Narek Vegas band. I've wanted to go all four years I've been in high school. This is my senior year. And I've wanted to go all four years, but we've never we've never been able to come up. Although these students won't pick up a ball, their chances of playing this venue rely upon the success of their school teams. I think some of them are just as excited as the, the players. Uh, I mean, they, they love to be involved, and they almost feel like they're a team themselves. Between games, musicians file in and out of the auditorium in a choreographed march. One team leaves, and the next is already in position. The excitement, uh, energy seems to be a lot higher than normal games, that's for sure. First, you get in free. <laughs> and second of all, it's just great to be able to come out here and play and just cheer on the home team. Their playlist is constantly changing, from staples like school fight songs to classic hits. usually pick which one we want to play like so it just depends on what we feel like and in between their performances there's a game to watch Josh Smith enjoys basketball but he admits he's usually counting down the minutes until it's his turn to play again I, mean, I forget where I am honestly and I think that helps my nerves too you know not thinking about the audience not thinking about you know the fact that we're playing in, in this huge auditorium Says years from now, he may not remember who won this game. But he'll never forget the time he got the chance to play for several thousand screaming fans. In Bangor, Scott Sassone, News Center. Whether he's pulling down rebounds and setting up his teammates, or sailing to the hoop for two. Billy Bissell's got game. He just acts normal and does everything better than anybody else can do, so. Well, almost everything. Even though the senior from Brewer can shoot, defend, and even dunk with Maine's best, there is one flaw in his game. When you do talk to him, you gotta talk real loud. Um, and make sure he knows what's going on when we have plays set up or whatever, we gotta make sure that he knows because sometimes he doesn't know we're talking to him at an important time. Billy Bissell is deaf. When, when they really first figured it out, I was about, a, I'd have to say, a month old. At the age of two, Billy got his first set of hearing aids and learned to speak. A few years later, he joined his first basketball team. All my friends they just helped me out and the coaches knew me very well and they would help me out also. And, catch me on the things what I'd have to do. We've just known him so long, everyone's gotten used to it, and we know how we need to treat it, how we need to get through to him, I guess you can say. The only way these players know how to treat Billy is like one of their own. Not being able to hear everything as, as, as well as everyone else must get frustrating. I would imagine it gets very frustrating, but he never really complains about it. You never hear him say anything about it, which is why it's so great to have him on the team. That's too easy over the top. Coach Clayton Blood took over the Brewer basketball program this year. He says, while it's easy coaching a kid with this much physical talent, there was an adjustment period. When you're speaking, you want to be in where Billy can see you. And 
once you get that and remember that once in a while, there's really no other transition. Billy also grew up using sign language and reading lips. He and his coach use an auditory trainer during games. Whatever you say into that goes into my hearing aids a lot louder than normal. While those hearing aids make it easier to follow along with his team, Billy says there are times when he actually benefits from being deaf. His coach points to a game at Brunswick when Billy had a chance to win the game at the free throw line in front of a hostile crowd. So he looks kind of over at the fans and then he just reaches up and click, click, turns that off and calmly sinks to at the foul line. So, so for that part, what a smooth move, what a thinking move that was. His teammates say that's Billy Bissell, a smooth player who can silence his opponents in more ways than one. In Brewer, Scott Sassone, News Center. Okay, so a co person coming down a river, fallen and slipped offshore in the water, no PFD. Anybody got any ideas on this one? Jeremy Hargraves and the crew at Northeast Guide Service are talking safety. What would our first step be if there was a victim in there? So my first thing was try to reach something out to him, whether that's a stick, paddle, pole, whatever you got. Um, Throw him a throw bag would be the next thing I'd do. You know, throw him some rope. They may be several miles away from the rushing waters of the Kennebec River, but these guides say making the right decisions on the water begins long before you get your feet wet. Everybody says, you know, the Kennebec River is our um, river that it's, our, it's the family river. Um, it's the river that, you know, we're taking, you know, it's our lowest age requirement river. Um, but it's probably, the dead is too. Uh, those are our two dangerous rivers right there. The danger lies in the fact that the Kennebec and the dead rivers are isolated with limited access points for emergency crews. Because of that, Hargrave says it's important for river guides to know how to react when faced with life or death situations. Hargrave started the state's first swift water rescue course for registered guides. You're of no good to anyone if you put yourself into danger. So don't become a victim. That's really important here. The three-day course begins in Greenville with lessons in hydrology, avoiding hazards on the river, and life-saving techniques. Then they move to Moosehead Junction, closer to the water, but still training on land. So that's our first objective, is get that person's head above water so they can breathe, um, and then we'll deal with actually extracting their foot from whatever situation it is. Doing it on land, you see a lot, you see how it's supposed to work, but as soon as you get in the water, the, the force actually on you and, like, the actual physical exertion of it is teaches you a lot more. Then it's time to jump in. You have the rivers flowing and it's constantly making noise and you're not always going to be within a few feet proximity to somebody else. So setting up your whole plan right from the beginning, telling them what they need to do, what you need to do, it makes a world of difference. Registered Maine guides are not required to take these types of swift water rescue courses. But these guides say if you're going to spend that much time out on the river, it's good to have. That line that Ashley had could have been anchored off, if possible, out there in the river. Each scenario ends with a discussion of what worked and what could have led to disaster. Jeremy Hargrave says these guides may never know how to deal with every dangerous situation, but by the end of the course, they're prepared to make better decisions when things go wrong. In Moosehead Junction, Scott Sassone, News Center.